happy Thanksgiving Day. Today we're going to go over the uh, Vagaberry by Bailbreaker. I have not had too many of these Bailbreakers. I think this is my third one. Well, I'm not going to say that. I started that sentence meaning something else. And then I, yeah, anyways, we'll just pretend those last seven seconds didn't exist. Um, so this is a wild ale aged in white wine barrels. It's aged for 12 months. And this one was bottled actually, um, 11-23 of 2021? That can't be right. Because I bought it, like, five months ago. That's funny. I'll need to check into that. Anyways, besides their label being wrong, I'm guessing this was bottled last year. But I'll have to double check. Because that can't be right. I did not, I haven't been to the liquor store in... Well, in the last week. Um, anyways, um, it's uh, Saison. So it's a wild ale Saison. Uh, Saison means seasonal. Uh, traditionally, that means the farmers took whatever they had left over and they turned it into beer. That's a Saison, a seasonal. Uh, usually, it's the end of harvest. Um, I think. I can't remember. Or it's spring. I can't remember. I should stop trying to pretend I remember. I don't remember. Um, Saisons are, let's see, a really good Saison would be the DuPont. That's the real classic Saison. Um, but I, in general, in general enjoy Saisons. They tend to be um, kind of a, a half of ice and almost base, but uh, sour, sour notes. Not, not like a sour sour, not a lambic or, or something like that, or a ghost, but still some, some real nice refreshing uh, sourness. Uh, this one in particular is part of Bale Breaker's... Um, like they've been doing some stuff in collaboration with, with wineries. And so they've been using wine barrels to age a series of beers. Um, and I've enjoyed the others I've tried. Nouveau Blanc, uh, a couple others. I think there's a Nouveau Rouge I've gotten my Rouge, Rouge I've gotten my uh, storage covered. Anyways, um, this one has a sticker. It says, open with care, I'm bubbly. Holy heck, they weren't kidding. I lost half the barrel or half the bottle in the bubbles. <laughs> um, and that was after I poured off two glasses. So it's a real nice kind of a, a cloudy honey look. Um, the head is pretty, pretty lacy, pretty light. It, uh, you know, it just grew for a long time. It wasn't until I had the bottle two thirds poured out, I'd guess, that the, the head stopped just growing. Um, anyways, this isn't my first sip of this. But it's the first sip you'll see, so. Apricot. Um, dry. Maybe some wine. I mean, it was aged in a wine barrel. It's this really nice, like, dry fruitiness. So, you know, like, I, I tend to prefer my beers dry rather than sweet. I like sweet beers, too. I like all the beers. Um, but I like, right now I'm feeling a, a dry beer. And, um... You know, as opposed to cloying candy, you know, sugar sweetness. Um, so this is a, a dry, a dry tasting beer. Um, and dry is the opposite of sweet. Don't ask me. Someone else came with that term. Um, and, and so I'm tasting that it's not sweet. So, you know, an apricot that's not quite fully ripe. You know, you don't have the, the real developed sugars in there. But you still have the apricot flavor, right? So that's what I'm telling you. Um, dry. And, and and apricot are probably the dominant notes with some kind of a seltzer. You can you could smell the 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 life and the body. Um, being a wild ale, that means that they they put the the beer in in the the brewing tank and they left it open, or they probably seeded it with wild ale types. But in general, it's a more risky uh, beer process. It produces a lot more lactic acid, which is the sourness you get in Saisons um, and Lambics. And so it's it's brewed using wild yeasts, yeasts that are native to the area that the beer is made in. So this is gonna have your terrar, you know, your your like your your wine crows about how it tastes like the land that it grew in. So this is gonna taste like the land it was brewed in, is kind of the whole intent. Um, and you get that sourness. So yeah. Dry, um, effervescent apricot.
Hmm. It has a real short finish. It doesn't stay in your mouth for very long. Um, but what you have is really, really delicious. Um, mild. So if you're not a huge fan of sours, you'll probably still appreciate this. If you're not a fan of bitterness, you're probably going to like this. Um, there's there's a brightness from it being dry, from it not being sweet, but it's also, it's not, it's not astringent. It's not bitter, like bite your tongue. Um, I mean, this is the antithesis of a, it's not, it's not a super malt forward, obviously. You're not talking about the malts when you're talking about um, Saison's, really. Um, but it's just got a lot of really nice, subtle, fruity, without being sweet characters. There's a, maybe a woodiness, um, kind of the, the finish. Um, the, the finish isn't probably the most amazing or pleasant, I would say. It's not unpleasant. It's just I would rather drink more than, than let this sit in my mouth and after I've swallowed and see what it tastes like. Um, woodiness. What, what else would describe that? It's kind of a, a round, soft cotton balls. <laughs> I'm trying to describe it without being, you know, without making it sound like it's a bad thing. You know, it might just be the leftover because you have the kind of the, the sweet fruitiness up front and then you're left with this kind of pleasant lingering sourness and that just kind of fades on your tongue and it's probably just what you're left over with um i'm going to guess this is going to pair really nicely because it's dry it's going to pair really nicely with thanksgiving dinner um and on that note happy thanksgiving and i will see all y'all oh just to reiterate this is bale baker Bre breweries brewing company's vagaberry um, i highly recommend anything in a bottle from bale breaker right now they are money so, happy Thanksgiving, and I'll catch y'all later.